well, good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you are today, hope you're feeling grand, and all is well in your world. Hello there, everybody. Uh, today's vid, everybody, is another comparison video. It is the epic Fender shootout. Hardly, but it kind of is, but it's not. But I don't know, really know where I'm going with this one. Anyway, we're going to do a shootout today between the three Fender amps I own, which are the Fender Deluxe Reverb, Tone Master, the Fender Stage 100 uh, DSP and the Fender Pro Junior, which is sat behind you at this point in time, not plugged in, but it will be soon. So that, they're the three amps we're going to shoot out today. Uh, usual thing, we're going to do a clean and we're going to do an overdrive comparison. We can't do full distortion because the Deluxe isn't really capable of that. You can get a lot of distortion out of Pro Junior. You can get more than distortion, more, 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 more than distortion. What's more than distortion? Mega distortion. Which is what you can get out of the stage. You know, this thing just gives you everything. It's just glorious. Um, so yeah, but the, the, the Deluxe doesn't give you mass distortion. Like this does. And the Pro Junior gives you quite a lot of distortion. But the Deluxe doesn't. It gives you more of an overdrive. So to make it fair, we're just going to run the, the stage on its kind of like a lower gain setting to the Deluxe and the same thing with the Pro Junior. We're gonna kind of run it lower and um, basically not go any higher than what that can do. Cause I just wanna make it fair. It's not fair otherwise. If I start cranking the distortion to 10 on the stage, uh, well, and the Pro Junior by cranking the volume all the way up, cause it's valve amp. Um, it's just not really fair on the Deluxe. So we're gonna keep it as clean and overdrive today. No mass distortion. So um, just to let you know off the bat, the most versatile of these amps is the Fender Stage. It really is. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a free channel amplifier with reverb and inbuilt effects, which you can access via a four-way foot switch. It sounds immense. It's just one of the best amps I've ever owned and love to bits. And again, this is one of those amps that I never ever want to lose because they're really hard to come by for some reason. Uh, but yeah, because I, I, I this is my second one, thanks to Bob. Because uh, um, I sold my first one because I'm an idiot and I will not be doing the same with this one. So, but this is the most versatile by far. It just does everything, everything. I could go to a gig with this thing. It's four-way foot switch and a wah, which I have done in the past, and make it through the whole night regardless of what I'm playing. It just rules the day. It really does. And in all fairness, out of these three, the stage is always going to be my favourite. So I am a bit biased, but I will tell you if there's something in the Deluxe that I like more or the Pro Junior that I like more than the stage. But anyway, uh, we will find out in a bit. So, um, all of you mic'd up with the SM57, same place on the speaker. Um, is there anything else I need to say? No effects. We're just going to go straight into the amplifier. We're going to use the, the, bra, the, 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 the We're going to use the vibrato channel on the Deluxe because I don't think I've plugged into the normal channel since I got that amp, to be honest with you. Uh, again, yeah, no effects. Uh, Going to use the clean channel and the overdrive channel on the stage. Obviously, the Pro Junior is just a single channel. It's just a volume and tone. Uh, again, there is a valve amp in this comparison, people with you. So, uh, but please don't let that sway you. I know that will sway a lot of people because it's a valve amplifier. Uh, but you, you know, you need to kind of go past that that factor if that makes any sense. Please do not let that sway you. Um, anyway, is there anything else I need to say? Other than the fact I'm doing this video in my pyjamas because it's Sunday and no one's making me get dressed on a Sunday. The man will not make me get dressed. Anyway, uh, let's talk about guitars, what we're going to use. So what we're going to use for the clean examples is the rather gorgeous Oswald... I don't, I don't know what to call this thing yet. The Rosewood Necked Oswald, which is just, you know, the one literally, I think. I think that's the most gorgeous guitar I own and will ever own. It's just a work of art. It's just, I mean, just, just, my good lord. Look at it in the light. When I get the light, it's just like, oh, yes. It's just disgusting. It's filth in the best possible way. So that's what we're going to use for the clean tones. And then what I'm going to do for the distortion tones, I'm going to use the Revelation RTL 59 because I want to use humbuckers to get a bit more out of the deluxe. Because with silver cores, the deluxe cranked is a little bit clean. So uh, I want to use something that's just going to push it a little bit more. So I'm going to use the RTL 59 for that. Um, 
I might use the custom actually, the Tokai custom. No, I'm gonna use the RTL. I like the RTL. Uh, I want for that, I like for this. So, uh, or we might up at 57, like I say, same place. Um, I am gonna use reverb on these two amplifiers. Unfortunately, the Pro Junior does not have reverb, so it might sound a little bit more sterile uh, than these two, just because of that no, no, no reverb thing. But um, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? Nope, I don't think there is. So, as usual, people tube. Out of these little set, these six sound examples, I'm gonna go away and have a listen, and I'm gonna come back and give you my final thoughts. And then I wanna know your thoughts as well in the comments section below. Like I say, please do not let the fact that the Pro Junior is a valve amp sway your decision. If you like the sound of, say, the stage or the deluxe more, don't go for it just because it's a valve amplifier. In all fairness, I think it's the most, it's a great sounding amp, but it's the most unversatile amp compared to these two. Uh, it's probably the, it, Again, I'm not going to have that amp for much longer. Uh, it's a great amp, but the Deluxe beats it for me, and the stage beats all for me. Anyway, but uh, like I said, I'm just, I just wanted to say that because I know a lot of people will be swayed with the fact it's a valve amplifier. Oh, by the way, people, too, you heard in the intro jam my Tone City Pedal Board, which I was talking about in Q&A uh, on Wednesday. Uh, like I say, I'll, it, I'll, I'll get a video done on that at some point, but uh, I am going to switch the Wild Wild pedal out for the Ibanez WH10 because I want my Silvertop Vox for my Trio pedal board. So, anyway, without further a doodles, let's get into this. So again, clean examples first, Deluxe Stage Pro Junior, Overdrive Deluxe Stage Pro Junior. Okay, and again, two different guitars. We've got the Oswald S-Type here, glorious gorgeousness of thing, and then the RTL for the Overdrive. So uh, without further doodles, let's get on with it. Enough talking.
Okay, okay, very great people too. There's the six sound examples of clean and overdrive. So uh, let me know in the comments section below which ones you preferred and why. You know, what was it about whatever that you know that you preferred the most? So for me, uh, if we start on the clean, my favorite clean tone was the deluxe. Uh, the clean tone on the stage was nice, but it was a bit too clunky. Uh, and the clean tone on the Pro Junior was nice but it was a little bit i don't know it had a bit too much clank as well like the, the pro Ju uh, sorry the pro Ju the deluxe just sounded right it had the right amount of dark and bright all at the same time it was really really nice i really like this i i love this amp so much it's such a great amp i'm so happy i've got one um nearly bankrupted me to get it but it was worth it anyway but yeah i i love the sound of the clean of the fender stage and the fender pro junior but the, the the deluxe it just had something that these two didn't have it was just the right amount of kind of like mid scoop as well like there wasn't loads of mids missing from the sound but it, it you know it was it was it was nice but in all fairness i've got to be honest with you people too i don't really like fender clean I really don't like it. Like, I've never really liked kind of running the stage. When I run the stage, normally what I do is I use the, uh, oh, well, I use the drive channel to get my clean. So I can get that John Fashanti break edge of breakup thing. And uh, I normally run it with the drive, oh, I run it on the kind of the yellow mode, which is kind of like a low gain. I run it at free on the drive, which um, no treble, all, uh, all the mids, all the bass. And it gives me that kind of nice kind of like broken up, kind of John Fashanti S kind of clean tone. I don't really ever really use the clean channel on the stage. I don't really use clean channels full stop. I just don't like them. They feel very they always lack in something for me. I just don't like them. So for for clean, which again isn't a sound I would really use, the deluxe won that for me. It sounded really, really nice. Uh and again it just had the right amount of kind of like dark, bright and mid to me. It was just really nice and clean and I loved that. And uh, very, very clean, like ridiculously clean. But again, not a sound I would really use. But again, for this example, we want to be covering all bases. So for Overdrive, Mr. Stage, for me, I loved the big, fat, dark, mid-rangey bark that this thing's got on the Overdrive channel. So I used Overdrive 1 for the sound examples, which kind of got me in the same ballpark as the game. Um... And I ran the drive on about six, so uh, it wasn't kind of cranked to the teeth, but it was just about the right amount. But I really love the distortion in this amp is just heaven to me. I mean, it, it's totally different to my Orange or my Marshalls or my Boss Katanas. It's a totally different drive sound, and I really love it for that. It's just, you know, it's just really cool. And again, it was, it's quite... Um, dark because I've got the uh, I don't know if I can get this no I can't get that off it's quite dark because I've got the gaffer tape trick that I do to well pretty much you know I would like to do to every friend I haven't done it to the deluxe because I don't feel like I want to but um, that does have the gaffer tape asterisk under there to kind of like cut down on some of the treble so it is a bit darker than it would be normally but I like that so for me the overdrive sound I just love the stage I really did the deluxe was nice. It was a really classic kind of like, you know, like really classic. It reminded me of kind of like the late 60s kind of thing, which is what that thing is to me. You know, that that this is Peter Green, uh, 19, 1968, 1969, 1970. That with a Les Paul, that's what that thing is to me. It sounds immense. Uh, I found the Pro Junior on its distortion setting with the volume all the way up, apart from being definitely loud. Uh, and I was sat way too close to it. Uh, but, you know, them's the breaks when you're an idiot like me and you don't think. Um, it sounded great, but it was a bit boxy. It sounded a bit weedy and thin, which in a recording situation, that would work so well. Like, if you had this and that running at the same time, that would give you an amazing guitar tone because you'd have all the highs of this and then you have all the mid-range and bassy grunt of this. It was immense. But for me, the over the overdrive was the, the, the stage and the clean was the deluxe, definitely. Um, you know, I, yeah, 
the Pro Junior, it's a great amp, and I do love it, and it looks amazing as well. But the Deluxe, just, I like it more, and the, the stage, I like it more. Like I said, I, I don't know how much longer I'll have the, the, the Pro Junior for. To be honest with you, by the time this video goes out, I might have sold it, but I don't know. The only reason I'm holding on to it is because I love the way it looks, but that's no reason to own an amplifier just because of the way it looks. Um, because if you're not going to use it, you know, what's the point? It's a waste of an amp. So I probably end up moving this thing on at some point. <laughs> I do love it to bits. It's a great sound and it, it, it works so well with pedals, the Pro Junior does. But I'm never going to, never really going to use it outside of that. But I, I kind of want to maybe think I might use it for recording. I don't know, because the thing was, sorry, sorry, I'm waffling out again, people, I do apologise about the wiffle waffle. I initially got this because I wanted kind of like that kind of nice fender kind of like breakup thing, which is what it does. But then I got this, and I can do it at a fraction of the volume of this, and without worrying about burning up the tubes, in you know, or valves in the process. Um, which I, I know first, I prefer the sound of this over this, like this just beats it because I, I just like the more crunk, clunky mid-rangey grind this thing's got to this. This one, this stamp doesn't have a great deal of mid-range because of the uh, smaller speaker and excuse me for tiny speaker model. Anyway, bit of a tube. Let me know which one you preferred and why. You know, was it the deluxe? Was it the stage? Or was it the Pro Junior? Let me know in the comment section below which one you preferred and why. You know, what was it about the deluxe? What was it about the stage? What was it about the Pro Junior that you liked, disliked, or whatever? Like I said, I really like the dark, grindy, midi, <laughs> mid-ranged distortion of the stage. It's just really gnarly, but I love it in the same way. It's really smooth at the same time. It's just glorious. The deluxe had a... Like I say, I, I am in so much love with that amp. It I mean, this, this will always be my favourite Fender amp, bar none. The stage just beats all. But this amp, I have such a heavy love for it. It's a bit unhealthy, but I do love it. And I say, the pedals and stuff like that, this pedal board loves this amp, it really does. But I say, I'll do, I'll do this, um, I'll do a video on this board uh, when I get round to it. I'll say, it'll, it'll have a different wire on by the time I get to doing the video. It'll have the Ibanez WH-10 on there because the Vox Silvertop's going on my uh, trio board. Um, but I also have another idea for another video soon, which I'm gonna need that for as well so anyway um like i say people tube let me know which one you preferred why you know what was it about these ones you like disliked what it was but yeah uh, i hope you enjoyed this vid and like i say these things are amazing these things are amazing and those things are amazing but there's not a bad amp here that's the thing you know what i mean like this doesn't sound bad that doesn't sound bad that doesn't sound bad they all sound amazing it's just that what tweaks your ear more like I say, for me, the clean was the deluxe and the distortion was the stage because I like darker distortion and the distortion, well, overdrive coming from the Pro Junior and, and, the, and the deluxe, a little bit too bright and a little bit too harsh, whereas this had a kind of a, a real bite and bark. For clean, again, proper crystal clean, which isn't a sound I really like to use, the deluxe just was perfect for that. It just sounded gl glorious to me. It really did. Anyway. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I will see you again soon for another one. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening until I see you again. And, uh, yeah. Um, is there anything else I need to say? No. Oh, wait, there was just another thing as well. They all, they were all mic'd up in the kind of exact same... Well, as close as I could get to being exact on all of them. But there was a good... Well, good that distance between the grill cloth and the mic as well. I don't really close mic things. I think you lose a lot of the sound of the, the whole speaker if you close mic if you close mic things i think it just sounds a bit flat you know if i if you if you distance mic things i think um things will sound a little bit better to me anyway um and like i said there was no pedals it was just from when we did the example it's just just guitar and amp that's it so anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed this vid everybody i'll see you again very soon for another one uh i'm off to get another cup of tea and uh yes have a great morning afternoon good evening goodbye and i found much indeed for watching haha <laughs>